Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora and thank you so much for watching. So I wanted to do a video on how I style my hair. I get a lot of questions as to uh, how do you style your hair? How do you do your hair? How do you style your hair? How do you do your hair? I just do it like randomly. This is just how I literally style my hair and I didn't know if anybody cared, but I've been getting it so much more recently. So I decided to just do a quick video. I washed my hair last night. So I was like, you're gonna have to fix your hair anyways. Might as well go in and film how you fix your hair on camera so you can actually have it on your channel. And whoever wants to style their hair, like I do, then can always watch this video. So one thing that I didn't show on here is how I shampoo and condition my hair. So I use everything that you see here product-wise is by the way. This is not sponsored by any means. I do get some of these products for free. Not all of it, some I have had to buy. Like I have tried products and then they run out and then I just buy it myself. I use it because it's a genuinely good product. I have met Jen Atkin who is the founder of Way, and she is literally one of the best hairstylists ever, just hair. Like she is a hair god because she knows how to style hair. She knows how to treat hair. She just knows how to do everything with hair. I like to support because she has great products and it just looks pretty. Like this stuff just looks fresh. So I'm like, okay, I'll use it. There's other products that work really well, but I'm not a hair person. I just know how to do my own hair and I know what works for my hair. All these products work for me. My hair isn't like makeup to where I have to like test out new things and see if it works, see if it doesn't. My hair is just my hair and it always looks the same and I'm perfectly fine with that. So all of these products you'll see there. The shampoo and the conditioner is by Way, and I use the curling one because I have really curly hair. If you don't know, here's a photo of what my hair looks like before the bleach process because it's very curly. And if I don't use a curling shampoo, and conditioner. My hair tends to be overly dry, but yeah, you guys, I'll talk about the products. And without further ado, let's dive right into how I style my hair. To begin, I'm gonna section off my hair. I have these random clips all from like, you can find them at your like local beauty supply store. Like you can probably go to like Sally Beauty. And what I like to do is I like to section it off. This is what it looks like. This is gonna be the front. I start from the back to the front, you guys. So I twist it and then I like clip that. So then this is what I'm gonna be working with. And what I do is I go down the middle. It doesn't have to be a perfect line. We don't have to be like Kim K and be so neurotic about a perfect line. I've heard you guys that she likes her hair parted down the middle. And if that line's not straight, it's like you have to redo it. I live in Hollywood, so I hear stuff. <laughs> this is a straightener I'm gonna be using. This one is by Paul Mitchell. It's a pro tool. It's technically a travel one, but it's perfect right now for the length of my hair. I have another Paul Mitchell one that I use, a wider one, which is I think like an inch to an inch and a quarter. So this is a half inch little straightener. And what I do is I start from the outside because my hair is gonna go this way. So that's how I'm gonna like do it. And then I just have a clip just to section things off. I grab it, then with a the little straightener, I go in like so, and I twist it. And then I do it until it's like, fully flat, and then I just keep doing it for the entire section. And when I straighten it, you guys, I like to straighten it the way that I, it's gonna like literally sit on like my head. So if it's going this way, like when my hair goes like this, I'm basically doing it in that direction. And I like to make sure I really have every single part straightened because if it's not fully like this, it'll have too much volume and I hate that. Whenever I first wash my hair, you guys, it's really dry and when I first fix it, it's really puffy because it's so dry. So one thing I didn't show actually, I put hair oil, this is the way one. I'll probably put some more right now because it still feels a little dry. But every time I shower, so I let my hair air dry. I don't like to put a blow dryer to it. So I take a shower at night and then I put two pumps of hair oil and then I just go to sleep with it still wet, like damp. And then in the morning or the next day I fix it. So I like to wash my hair on like Saturday night. Yeah, like Saturday night. So even if I go out, I like wake up and I'll just fix it. So I wash my hair like once a week. So now let me do this section and then I'll show you how I do the rest. Okay, you guys, so now I've done it all this way. Whenever I'm on this side, I tend to just go all the way to the side. So here I kind of do it at an angle like this, but when I'm here, I literally just go this way when I style it. And I just like to pass it over. And then as I'm going, I get the hair oil. Because I didn't put too much before, I just grab like a good little pump. And I rub it through the hair. It also helps with like frizzing and it smells really nice. What is it supposed to do? Multitasking oil that smooths frizz and seals split ends 
for high gloss. So I have a lot of split ends, you guys, because I bleach my hair so much. And then this front part, I section it off once again. I like to section it off to smaller pieces because if I get huge chunks, then it's not as smooth. There's still gonna be like a little bit of wave. So if you, it, this does take a little bit longer, but it's totally worth it in the end. So for this one, I'm actually gonna put oil before I actually style it. So I just really work it into the hair. I feel like it protects it. That's just my personal opinion, but I don't know. And then I just grab this, and here's when I tend to curl it more. <gasps> so all that smoke is just the oil, you guys. Don't worry about it. You see, it like smooths it out. So I really like it. My hair doesn't have anything in it. Like there's no other product in it. The reason why it has so much volume is because my hair is so curly. The bleaching also like strained it out, but there's still so much like wave to it. So like, look, it just like stands. So the way I go about my straightener, if you want to break it down is, I'm trying to get all my hair to meet here. This little back corner right here. So the way I style it, all the hair is going towards this direction. So here, it's gonna go like this. Here, it's gonna go sideways like this. Here, it's gonna go push back. So I'm trying to get to this little point in the back corner of my head. I don't know too much about hair, you guys. And then this, I'll do all in one section. So you have to make sure that at least the sides are really perfected. The back, I mean, I should perfect, but I honestly can't see it. So it's like out of sight, out of mind. So it's perfectly fine. And then there, and then I'll apply a little bit more oil. If you have good hair, then you don't have to put this much oil. But I bleach my hair almost white. So it is very, very dry. And I already have curly hair. And curly hair tends to need more moisture and like attention. If I don't do this, it literally poofs up. I'm gonna do the front, and even then, you think this could be a section, I even split that in half, because I want the front. Literally, my hair falls out so crazy, you guys, because of the damage from the bleaching. Yeah, I have a haircut, but like, if y'all could see the table, I keep having to like brush off the hair. I have a haircut, but I feel like I also have like a chemical cut, because the ends, they were so dry that they just like, literally just keep falling off. But I don't know, God bless me with thick, coarse horse hair on my head. No brows, but I got a good head of hair, and that's perfectly fine by me. So that's why I don't like to do my hair too often. I don't like to constantly be doing it because if I do, then it'll literally fry off. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this part and then I'll be right back. So I'm gonna put a little bit more oil on this area that I just finished. And I just really work it into the hair. I'm not focusing it on the back, I'm more so focusing it on this area right here. So now we're gonna work on the front. And it's this kind of little area. So let me put some, my hair is literally just falling out. So I'm gonna put more oil on it. I know it's falling out and I do use hair masks, you guys, but it's always what happens like the first week, week and a half of me dyeing my hair. There's like a chemical cut. There has to be a chemical cut. What I do here is instead of working it like this, so I don't make a line like that, I kind of make it diagonal like this. Do you see that? Because my hair is gonna go like this. Here is when I get really close to the root because this is the front of the hair. It's hot. Don't burn your scalp. And I go a little bit slower to make sure it's really straight. That is not like a dent, it's just the color. I just <laughs> grabbed weird there, you guys. And I do it again. I have shorter hairs in the front, so I like do that little double pass by the root because I have like little baby hairs or like some breakage. So I make sure I grab that. And right here, second to last piece. There we go. And the last piece. This part always is so satisfying because I'm like, oh fuck, I finally finished my hair. And this one I pass a lot faster because the hair's so much thinner there. Then I'm gonna put more oil on it. That's generally what the hair looks like. Now what I like to do is I'll push this back because I'm gonna like lay down the sides. This is just an extra step. I don't like my sides to be too poofy. So what I like to grab, this literally has lasted me over a year and, cause I don't use it often, but like look, it has so much product left still in it. Oh, it smells so good. Right here, I brush it down with just like my hand. You can do it with a brush if you want to. I'm not that specific. So anything that's long, I'll push up to where I can see the clear line of where this length of hair disconnects from here. And then brush this side down. 
be like sometimes little hairs will go up and you have to make sure you get them down, down, down. And you feel out the back, hopefully it's straight. And then I just grab the product. I grab it just on my fingertips. I grabbed a little bit too much. You only wanna literally grab a little bit. And then what I do is, I don't apply pressure. I just graze the hair, like so. So I'm just like rubbing it on. Because if I apply the pressure, it like glues down your hair and that's not the look I want. I just want it to look tamed down. Because I do have curly hair, so my hair won't lay down. Really smooth and nice. So if I put product, it will. And then the back, hopefully it looks good. I like to do the sides first because in the top, I grab just a little bit more product again. I rub it into my fingers like so, even like in between my fingers. What I like to do is I rub my fingers through my hair and I'll do it to like both sides. You see how it starts to like make these disconnections like in the hair? I like that look. I like it to look PC and I like there to be like dimension through it. So one thing that happens when you use this much product in your hair, you guys, is that your hair tends to get like really, really dirty and like a little bit gross, but I like my hair dirty. I feel like dirty hair tends to hold a style so much more. So even though my hair looks good right now, it actually looks the best at like day three, day four. At the seven day mark, it starts to like get really weighed down by products because it's so dirty. Oh, I got a text message. Oh no, I got Domino's. Only $5.99 when you order two more. <laughs> yeah, so too dirty of hair tends to be weighed down and it won't have all this volume. It'll literally just fall flat and I don't like that look. At the seven day mark, I tend to wash it because of that, but dirty hair just tends to hold style better. Y'all know that. Well, if you don't know that, dirty hair tends to hold style better. But if you really wanna like amp up your hair, I bought this little nugget. This is the Way Hair Care Dry Shampoo Foam. If my like front is looking too oily, that's generally the only area that I care if it looks oily. I just grab a little bit of the mousse. I bought this one at the checkout section of like Sephora. So you can just get this at Sephora. And I have the big one at home, but I don't feel like you really need the big one unless you have a lot of hair. But because I only really use it right here in the front, just on the sides. And I'll do this like when, like around like day four, day five, like day four, when I'm like, oh shit, it's looking a little bit oily, but I'm liking how it's looking. Let me clean up that oil. And then if I'm going to an event, I use this, this is the memory mist. I don't remember what exactly it's for. Oh, it's a heat protectant. Oh, I probably should have used this instead of the oil. For use before you style. This multitasking priming spray adds heat protection, shine, and long lasting memory to any look. Oh, I should have done that. You know what I thought this was? I thought this was hairspray. I literally thought it would just like hold the hair. That's how I've been using it and it literally just holds this shape for days. Oh, I'm gonna start using this before. I don't know, that's how I use it. She also has a really light hairspray that I really like. I don't like a heavy hairspray. I only like a very light hairspray just so it lightly holds everything. And this is how I style my hair, you guys. This is exactly how I do my hair once a week. I wash my hair once a week, so I style it once a week. And sometimes I'll touch it up throughout the week, but this is generally how I do it. I don't, my hair doesn't really change by any means. When it comes to the styling of it, it always kind of looks the same. But uh, yeah, these are my products. Shout out to Way for sending me these products that I have fallen in love with. This video is by no means sponsored and they by no means have ever asked me to use their products. They just send me the products and I really appreciate them. So shout out to Way. shout out to Jen Atkin because she's literally super sweet and I really like these products. You can tell these products were made by an expert because they all work. They're all efficient. Like it's not some BS type of product that's just being sold to you like, oh, this does this, this does that. No, these are all amazing products and I really like them for that reason. They're a little bit pricier, I'm not gonna lie, but they do last a long time. So if you go through products a lot, it might not last as long as you, but I style my hair once a week. I wash my hair once a week. So it kind of lasts me a really long time. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want me to do a video on how I actually colored and cut my hair, because that's actually my best friend who does it all, I'm gonna have to bring him on my channel to explain to y'all, because I don't know nothing about that. Then let me know down in the comment section down below and let me know what other products you like and why you like them when it comes to your hair, because some of these are pricier. So maybe you know some drugstore brands that you love that work very similar. Leave them down in the comment section down below so other people can read it as well and hopefully buy them and check those products out. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and until next time. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. Bye everyone.